Hey folks, JR, back for another episode of Echoes of Shannon Street Case File. It's going to be episode 57, Ballistics Evidence Survey. It's got to be good, folks, with a title that long. All right, folks, let's get into these ballistics. The system of red, blue, and green circles and rectangles numbered consecutively on the Ballistic Evidence Survey overlay and denoting items of ordnance begins in the rear of the house at the southeast corner, enters the rear door, and progresses throughout the house in the following manner. Number one, one live thirty-eight special caliber P plus P semi jacket hollow point cartridge on the walkway near the outside southeast corner of the house. Number two, five spent thirty-eight special caliber P plus P cartridge cases on walkway near the outside southeast corner of the house. And folks, if you remember, this is going to be the first time that Officer Aiken went outside the house to reload. If you'll recall from that episode, episode five, he went around to the side of the house, ejected the rounds out of his pistol and reloaded. And I think we made mention then that there was one live round that would be found later. Number three, two spent 12-gauge shotgun shells on walkway in rear of house near the southeast den window. Number four, eight spent two twenty three caliber cartridge cases on the walkway just outside rear door. Number five, three spent two twenty three caliber cartridge cases on a ledge just inside and to the east of the rear door along rear wall. Number six, one spent 12-gauge shotgun shell on floor of upper den between the north end of bar and the west wall of den. Number seven, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on floor near north wall of upper den and three feet west of kitchen doorway. Number eight, one spent 12-gauge shotgun shell on floor of upper den near the kitchen doorway. Number nine, 18 spent 223 cartridge cases on floor of upper den. Number 10, nine spent 223 caliber cartridge cases on kitchen floor. Number 11, two spent 12 gauge shotgun shells on floor of front bedroom. Number 12, two spent 38 caliber special P plus P cartridge cases on dresser against south wall of front bedroom. Number 13, one spent 38 special caliber P plus P cartridge case on floor of front bedroom in front of dresser. Number 14, five live 38 special caliber P plus P semi jacket hollow point cartridges on the bed under a red headboard on the north side of front bedroom. These cartridges are bloody. Number 15, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on floor of front bedroom near the west wall. Number 16, one live 38 special caliber P plus P 70 jacket hollow point cartridge on a night table on the west side of the head of bed near the northwest corner of front bedroom. Number 17, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on living room floor just in front of fireplace. Number 18, one spent 38 special caliber P plus P cartridge case on the floor of the hall near the west wall. Number 19, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on the floor of the hall in the northeast corner. Number 20, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on the floor of the hall in front of bathroom door. 
Number 21, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on the floor of the hall near door facing on west side of bathroom door. Number 22, six spent 38 special caliber P plus P cartridge cases found on the floor of middle bedroom after bodies removed. Number 23, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case on floor of the middle bedroom near closet. Number 24, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case found on floor of middle bedroom. Number 25, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case found on floor of middle bedroom near south door. Number 26, three live 38 special caliber P plus P 70 jacket hollow point cartridges found in a Smith & Wesson Model 10 revolver serial number Delta 470679 found under the hand of body labeled by the medical examiner as B2, who was second from the south. Number 27, one spent 223 caliber cartridge case found on the south side of a large round bed in the rear bedroom. Number 28, two spent 38 special caliber P plus P cartridge cases found in a Smith & Wesson Model 10 revolver, serial number Delta 647991, found with the hammer cocked on the south edge of the large round bed in the rear bedroom, just above the body of the subject labeled by the medical examiner as G7. Number 29, two live. 38 special caliber P plus P 70 jacket hollow point cartridges found near the column on the northeast corner of the front porch. Number 30, one live 38 special caliber P plus P 70 jacket hollow point cartridge found just below the northeast corner of the front porch on the patio. Number 31, Three live, 38 special caliber, P plus P, 70 jacket hollow point cartridges found in the grass in the front yard near the northeast corner of the front porch and near an MPD handy talkie radio bearing the number 49-A. Number 32, one flattened, spent lead bullet, one copper jacket and one copper jacketed lead bullet found on floor near center of upper den. Number 33, one flattened lead projectile believed to be a spent pellet from a double lock buck charge found on west side of the kitchen floor. Number 34, two semi-jacketed hollow point bullets of apparent 38 special caliber recovered in north wall of front bedroom. In addition to the above listed items of ordnance evidence found inside the house, officers counted a total of 25 bullet holes in the exterior. Some of these are entrance holes, some are exit holes, and some cannot be accurately determined. There are 20 spent 12-gauge shotgun shells, blue in color, found on the ground in the areas of the windows on the east and west sides of the house. These shells are believed to be from the ferret rounds fired by the tactical unit prior to the entrance of the assault team. There were lead and copper fragments embedded in the outside west wall of the house at 2243 Shannon Avenue. The lead fragment was four feet up from the ground and one inch north of the southwest corner of the house. The copper jacket fragment was 3.7 feet up from the ground and 5 inches north of the southwest corner of the house. This is the first house east of the scene at 2239 Shannon Avenue. One additional spent 223 caliber cartridge case was found on the ground near the southwest corner of this house. 
A bullet fragment was found on the sill of a broken window on the east side of the house at 2237 Shannon Avenue. This was the second window from the north end of the house. This is the first house west of the scene at 2239 Shannon Avenue. One additional spent 223 caliber cartridge case was found in the front yard at 2239 Shannon Avenue near a large oak tree which is near the driveway and sidewalk. One live 223 caliber cartridge was found in the driveway near the street. From all reports, it appears that the total of live and spent cartridges and cases, spent bullets and bullet fragments recovered from inside and outside the house are listed as the following table. Spent 223 caliber cartridge cases, 40 inside, 10 outside. Live 223 caliber cartridges, none inside, one outside. Spent 12 gauge shotgun shells, four inside, 22 outside. Live 12 gauge shotgun shells, none inside, none outside. Spent 38 special caliber cartridge cases, 12 inside, 5 outside. Live 38 special caliber cartridges, 9 inside, 7 outside. Spent bullets, 4 inside, none outside. Bullet fragments, 2 inside, 3 outside. Spent double lock buck pellets, 1 inside, none outside. Respectfully submitted, Captain C.L. Moore, Crime Scene Squad. CC Director of Police Services, Crime Scene Squad. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this episode. We'll get together again in a few days. I imagine we'll go over the all the different items that were noted on the crime scene diagrams. We'll probably do that next. All those little numbers with the circles you see. That'll probably be our next trek. And then after that, we're going to hit the investigators' notes, their crime scene descriptions, which are pretty detailed. All right, folks, I do appreciate you hanging in there with me. And as always, I will see you down the road.